Hi guys, uh, this presentation is about what is a kit and uh, how we can create a kit in Oracle order management. What are the setup required to create a kit in order management and how we can place an order within a kit. So first of all, what is a kit? So an item that has a standard list of components are included items only which you can ship when you process an order for that item. So a kit is similar to a pick to order model because it has a shippable components, but it has no options and you order it directly by its item number, not using the configuration selection screen. So a kit is a components, is a collection of components, but they are all included items and kit is not a pick to order and a kit is not also an ATO. We don't have any star item in the kit. We don't have any option in the kit. The unit of measures for the model and kits are restricted to the item's primary unit of measure. And also, if all the lines of kits are not shipped together, they are treated as a standard line and will progress on their own. So if we have a kit and if we are not able to ship all the items of the kit together, they become a stand, just like a standard item. And, the, and we have a flag, a remnant model flag in OE order line salt table that will be set as yes when we are not able to ship the kit together. So if we are not able to ship the kit together, all the lines of the kit behave like a standard lines and fulfillment does not treat the lines as a part of a kit and our lines will not wait at fulfillment because they are a part of kit. Since they are not shipped together, so they become a standard lines. Also, if the kit or the model is a ship model complete, all the included items and kit or model will be passed as a set to ATP for availability check or else the availability check for each including item in the kit or the model will be done individually. Also, when we are performing an ATP inquiry on a kit or a model, order management will explore the included items of the kit or the model and then call Oracle APS and Global Order Promising APIs to perform the availability check for all the included items in the kit. Or the model itself. Auto scheduling order is ported for the orders that contain only standard line items, not the model or kit. So auto scheduling will not be supported for the order which has a model or kits. You can split only a kit line and not the included. You can split only a kit line and not at the included item level. So let me show the structure of a kit. This is how the structure of the kit is looks like. So this I can see you can see this this SK a kit one is the kit item and then these are the included rights in the kit. So let me give you take you the presentation about how we can define a kit and uh, how we can place a order for the kit in a Oracle auto management. So so this is how we define, we can go to the item master and we can define, if you look into my example, so I have, a, this is my kit, SK key IT one. So we go to the item master, define an item SK kit one and make sure that the user item type is kit. The best way to define a kit is go to the master item org and to use the template kit. So once we define the kit, define three more items as the standard items. Just like the way I have a presentation. So we have a kit. These are the standard items. And in, in this example, this is my kit. And these standard items are the including item for the kit. So let me go back to the uh, presentation. So here I define the kit. And similarly, I define the rest of the three standard items. Now, let me take to you. Once I define the kit and the standard items, 
go to Vela material and define the Vela material for the kit. Now see SKKIT1 is my kit. So I define that as a I'm defining the build up material for that and beneath that I define the three standard item as an included item for the kit. So define the build up material structure in the master org and then either make it a common build to all inventory organization or define it in it is in a your organization. The best way is to copy it. So whenever you define a build up material for the kit make sure that you copy this up with this build up material to your organization where you want to do the transaction or make it as a common build. So what we did is we define a kit, we define the three standard items and then we come to the build up material and then we define the build up material for the kit as you can see in the screen. So make sure that the optional flag should not be selected. So once we have this one, so so go to the order management, enter the order header information, come to the order line and enter the data. So here I define the line 1.1 with the kit SK KIT1. And as you can see in the item type, item type is kit. So in case you don't want to see the included item on the kit, do the setup for setup for uncheck show items detail checkbox on the tools menu. So in case you don't want to see the included item for the kits, so oh, let's let let me before I explain it, let me go back. So as you can see, you enter the kit. The moment you enter the kit, create order or the item and save. System will retrieve all the included item for the kit. As you can see in my bill of material, I have a three standard item. So I enter the order header information. In the line information, I enter the kit and save it and system will immediately retrieve all the included item for the kit and display it on the screen. Now if you look into the item type for those three items is included. Please note that system will display all the items of the kit because show item detail checkbox in the tool menu is checked. If that is not checked, system will not display the included item. Also, Please note that in the kit we have included items and no option items. If we enter the option item, it will not be a kit. It will be a ATU or PTU. And now I can see the whole kit in the order management. If you don't want to see the whole kit in the order management, you just want to see the kit item, go to the tools menu and uncheck the show item detail checkbox and then the system will display only the kit. This is, that's all about this short presentation about what is a kit, what are the characteristics of the kit, how we can define the kit in order uh, bill of material, and then how we can create a order for the kit in Oracle order management. Thank you very much. I hope you like this presentation. Thanks, bye.